Hello, Sad Gang. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. My name is Nazi. So I will be happy to to tell y'all energy. I want you all to take what fits, leave what does not. If anything does resonate with you, Sad Gang, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Squad Rose is needed. Also, Sad Gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love, likes, comments. Thank you for the support. Thank y'all for everything that y'all do to help the channel grow. I really love and appreciate you all. Alright, Sad Gang, so I am going to do this live shuffle. We're going to hop right into the energy to see what messages here has for Sad. Thank you. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords here. So, what I'm seeing is that someone is getting betrayed. Someone has gotten betrayed. Someone has ran off to be and betrayed this person. Someone here. And they're reaching out for you to help them or something. For you to care about them or give to them. Maybe they're being very nostalgic of when they could have betrayed you here. And just ran off after they betrayed you. After you could have gave them something or helped them. But I feel like the energy is now where this person is reaching out to you here. This can be energetically that they're reaching out. There's some sort of fight or some sort of conflict going on here. Give me more. But you're over here at peace, okay? So you're over here in these nine of pentacles, doing your studies, drinking your little wine, growing your pentacles becoming very fruitful like you're over here a single person at peace okay living some sort of comfortable life and this person is over here in some sort of group fight or group conflict and they need your help right now they're thinking about when you help them maybe they're thinking about how peaceful or how balanced you were but I definitely feel like at this time, you are getting instructions to sit this one out. Whether you are a masculine or a feminine, you're getting instructions. Whatever this person has going on, they're going to have to deal with it without you. You're being instructed to stay out of whatever this is. Okay? Um, somebody, it could be like a group fight, a family fight, a bunch of feminine energies or something. They need you right now. Um, maybe this could have been someone you were married to or some sort of long term commitment with, but you're being you're being you are being instructed here with the instructor to sit this one out and to focus on you, focus on your manifestations, focus on your pentacles or something, focus on your peace. Okay, focus on whatever you've been manifesting. Wow, so this person, oh my goodness, this person needs you now more than ever. There's some sort of group conflict or fight here. They're thinking about how they betrayed you. Some of these people know that they can't even come to you because they know that they betrayed you and just ran out. Maybe started some sort of fight or argument, right? So, yeah, you're being instructed with the six of wands in reverse to move away from this, okay? Because you don't want any delay with your new beginning or your manifestations trying to help someone who's betrayed you. Maybe they couldn't even betray you for these people that they're having this group conflict with. This could be some sort of of um child mother okay so you're being instructed not to give to somebody at this time you're being instructed to focus on your self-care or you're being instructed to focus on your self-care or to focus on your pinnacles or the guidance that that you're getting here because i do feel as though you are researching something as a single individual um you could be getting these instructions to hold back from a reader a tarot card reader or a psychic some of you all are psychics right um you're being instructed through whatever this psychic ability that you have or who whoever this advice that you are getting Whoever the psychic that you are getting advice from, you are being instructed to ignore or hold back or not to help or give to this individual. Because I feel like you do care, you do love about, you do love this individual. But see, at this time, you're being focused not to give to someone with the sense of pinnacle. Someone is not getting something in this, in, in this, in this, um, in this picture, right? So someone is not getting some sort of help. 
um, someone needs your help, right? This could be someone you love. You're also being focused on holding back for new love. This could be maybe not a child or a family member. This can be someone who you actually dated, someone who you were in love with or married to. Okay, so yeah, you you got script orders right now. You got script instructions for the divine here. Okay, um, there could be some sort of divorce here that you're getting. Or there could be some sort of truth that's coming out about a connection. There could be some sort of truth coming out about your new connection, right? Um, but someone is going to be getting karma or they're already getting karma right now, right? So you could be getting good karma. You got some sort of balance in your life. But it's something about this person. It's like they want to... They can have a lot of conflict going on. They could even want to fight you because... They're mad that you are over here not indulging in nothing. So, I don't know. That could have been some sort of fight here. Someone could have took someone to court. Someone's family got involved. Someone's family is fighting with someone. Someone is needing your help. Someone could be getting karma. Someone could need groceries. Someone could need assistance or financial help. Someone misses the love that you gave because look at how all of this water is all overflowing out of this cup you gave a lot of love to whoever this was very loving energy now they're with someone that maybe maybe they're with someone that they're getting bored with someone is always upset with them maybe they're thinking about when you gave them love how they treated you how it wasn't enough how you did it, how they felt like you didn't fill their cup where you really did, and they're seeing that now that you're gone. But I feel like you are investing into you right now. You're investing into the messages, the downloads, you're investing into some you could be investing into stock here. You could be investing you're investing in your money or your peace or something right now. And you got some your spirit God's protecting you here. Okay, so someone you got these screen instructions because someone needs you right now, Sarah. Someone needs you bad. Someone could be having legal problems. They need your help. Like I said, you could be getting your justice here. Um, there could have been some truth that came out of court here. Okay, there could be some sort of energy to where this person owes you money. They don't have... They're fighting with everybody because they stressed because they got to pay you. Okay, you're finna come into a big amount of money here with this person. I feel like this person is targeting you at this time. Because either you're getting that money or you have your own money and they need help. And they don't have it to give. They could want to start some sort of fight or argument again after a fight or argument already has happened. They're very toxic. They're obsessed with you. Maybe they could have someone toxic in their energy. This could be a toxic masculine or feminine. This could be um, they're listening. Somebody is in their ear. Okay, this could be two children. All right, there's this emperor in this father figure or somebody in their ear someone has a plan to be dishonest or untrustworthy or someone had a plan to start some sort of fight or argument with you but for some of these people whatever it is that they did or however they betrayed you it didn't work out in their favor um so somebody could have been manipulating this person or whatever this father figure or this emperor here Somebody could have lied to the judge. Somebody was just very toxic here. Lying. Untrustworthy with their communication. Um, this is the type of person that says they're going to help people. But then they don't. Um, yeah, this is the type of person that says they're going to help people. And then when it's time to help, they leave. Alright, but I do feel like whoever this person is that betrayed you for someone else or a group of people or father figure or whatever this is, 
this person is very heartbroken because you are really leaving and you are not helping them or something like this. Maybe they thought that you were going to leave. There could have been some sort of note or book or journal that was left or left behind. You could have read. This this could be a child who likes to run away from home or run away from their mother here and um, tell lies to their father here about you. So it's all kind of energy going on right now. Okay, but there could have been some sort of legal issue or something legal that happened, but you're going to get your justice. You are this person's world here. This, this, if this is a child, this child is your world, but they just too hard headed. Or maybe when you were in their energy, maybe they just listened to this man or somebody or a lot of women or I don't know, but whoever they listen to, they fighting or arguing with them. But you are focused on work. You could be doing money spells here. Somebody could be doing spells on you. You could be getting that downloads or information through readings or through tarot cards here. Alright, so you could be some sort of vocalist, songwriter, poet. Okay, um, maybe you said your truth in court. You say your truth for work. Okay, so there's something that you do here. That some truths are coming out, right? And people can't judge you. People can't. People are calling judgment on this situation over here. That could be a judge calling judgment, right? So whoever this masculine is or this younger person, they are going to go to jail or they are feeling trapped in something here where someone is very possessive. They don't. They couldn't be trapped in a house or trapped in a room. Okay, they gonna try to run away. I don't know this this I don't know what's going on here, so Yeah, this is someone younger here. Okay, so this could involve a younger person or a child, a teenager, two teenagers, or a little boy, a little girl. Okay, it could involve like someone's family here. Okay, someone, someone walked out, stepped on you, betrayed you, talked about you, fought with you. It could have got real legal. Someone was being nasty, cruel, or mean here. Someone could have uh, tried to commit a crime. Someone could have hurt someone here in a fight. Someone, it, it could have been others involved and someone's parent was involved here. Someone is sad here. Someone is going to end up in jail and this person, someone is going to need someone's help here. So that could have been a fight that went wrong or something. All right. With the three of pentacles, this could be something with work. This could be someone at someone's job. This can be where now this person, like I said, this person's going to work with you. Someone's going to get in trouble. Someone, someone is going to need you real bad. Like someone's going to need you. Somebody's going to get in the jam here, whether that's financially or in jail. They're going to get caught up lying. There's a lot of truth, a lot of uh, communication that's going to come out here, okay, where people are not going to see you as like the bad person anymore or something like this, okay? Um, people are going to want to start working with you because you're, you've you already said your truth and you moved forward or something. You're not talking to somebody. But whoever this is, it's still a lot going on even though you are in this peaceful energy. Maybe this person didn't know which person to choose, which way to go. Um, maybe that could have been some sort of peer pressure. Maybe they could have chose this harsh queen of pentacles, a grandmother, a mother, someone very cutting an air sign or a Taurus here okay so they're feeling left out in the cold <clears throat> when it comes to you when it comes to you helping when it comes to some sort of communication or anything like this right so this person is in despair <clears throat> they're disappointed with the person that they chose all right I do feel like um 
people was like blaming you, Sag, or they was like saying that you were maybe spiritual, or they were saying that you was doing stuff on them, but you was really not, right? You was just leading or focused on your job, being a supervisor or a healer or tarot card reader or getting the messages right. And and some of you some of you um some people was like targeting you or this person was targeting you for what you do for work or something here. Alright, what's the energy for Sag? What's Sag's energy? Yeah, so now whoever this person is that's distant from you, they could be watching you on the phone. You can have a public platform. They could be sad. They are depressed. This person is very sad and depressed here. Because you are choosing not to focus on them. I do feel like your emotions could have been uh, very rocky or whatever this is that this person calls. I do feel uh, who whatever this is, the situation that this person caused, right? It did leave your emotions rocky, okay? But you was like, something was in the blind. Somebody didn't know nothing. Maybe you kept a lot of secrets about somebody. I don't know, but... Something could have gotten exposed, okay? Um, I feel like you have been tempted to communicate or talk to somebody here or somebody has been tempted to communicate and talk to you. Uh, but I feel like you are standing firm. These people are feeling your wrath, especially the truth that you have exposed here. If you did have to expose something here, okay? Um, you're, you're exposing how people have been very careless or something with their money, you're exposing something here. You got somebody trapped in their head like they had you trapped in your head. What's the energy for such? Somebody could have been stealing from work, right? But you are happy, okay? So whatever the case is, you're very happy. Um, You you exposing the truth. You start some sort of new beginning for yourself. Whatever you do, you could be like a true speaker or a seer here. That's your passion. Okay, you could have a, a, a you could have two kids. Okay, maybe one child is giving you a lot of drama and the other one is not. So you're just gonna focus on your other children if that's the case. Okay, so you're being like a father figure, or you're being like some sort of guidance or leader to your other children, right? Um, while someone is very unfulfilled, watching you, wanting you to, maybe you was like really this person's mother and this person's father, like some of you all have masculine and feminine energy in you, right? And sometimes you did have to put your foot down, right? But it's somebody that was behind the scenes, some sort of queen of swords or some sort of Taurus or, um, Capricorn, some sort of Aries, some sort of Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn, um, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, we even have some, some some sort of Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, right? So again, you are the high priestess, right? So there was somebody that was in this person's ear that caused the death to this connection, but they're unfulfilled, right? You could have been a mother, very loving, but you also knew how to be very assertive, or you could be a father, very assertive, but you also knew how to be very loving or something. Okay, I also see a child here. Maybe you're starting a new connection here with an emperor. Okay, this can be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Aries, right? Um, that could be a child. All right, but I feel like you're very enlightened about what was already in front of you. You just, yeah, I'm sorry, you, yeah, you were enlightened about what was already in front of you. The, the death. You, you were enlightened about everything with this person, this, these two people, these fights, or whatever. So you chose to set it out and you chose to focus on your future, right? You're turning your back on what was in front of you and you're not going to be focused on something new or passionate, some sort of ace of pentacles, some sort of ace of wands energy, new love, new money, um, new person. You can have a new child coming in, a little girl here, okay? But there was someone here, a low vibrational fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries, that caused you a lot of uh, drama here. Okay, um, and this person is thinking about it now because now they've gotten their self in some sort of drama here, some sort of fight. Okay, they don't want to fight with you no more, right? But you've been instructed by this tarot card reader 
by spirit, by the divine, to stay out of it. Don't help this person. Let this person be where they at. They could be with some sort of low vibrational queen of pentacles. Okay, um, some some sort of drama out baby mama that depends on them or some sort of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Leo, Saturn, Aries. It, it definitely was a few people over here, right, that you're no longer helping. Like I said, it could have been a child. It could have been something with a family home. It could have been other siblings. You guys could have been fighting over a home, fighting over money or something like this. I don't know. It was some sort of fight. It was some sort of drama. It could be all these people over here is low fucking vibrational. It's a bunch of people, fire signs, earth signs, water signs, low vibrational and drama out here. Maybe about a child. They're all arguing over some sort of child, maybe. Okay, but you're over here in the six of water energy moving forward. Like I said, you could be starting something here with a fire sign or water sign here. Okay, or an earth sign. You're moving forward. Okay, it's with the six of wands energy. All of these people are going to start looking at you, knowing that you are the good person as you sit this out. That's why you got to sit it out. If you go back in here right now, Sag, people are going to see you for everything that somebody claims you to be. But if you sit it out, you focus on you, focus on your work, focus on your other children, focus on your new love, focus on the goddess from the cards, or focus on the tarot card reader, people are going to want to come over here and start supporting you because they're going to see that. I mean, you're going to be on some sort of high horse. Okay, you're going to be on some sort of high horse. Because maybe that's what some, someone could have been intimidated of you. They could have felt like you were on a high horse. They could have hated that you had followers. or They could have hated that you were really guided or something, right? These people are going to be in this nine of, nine of swords energy. Sad, low vibrational, fighting amongst themselves. Keep Sag out of it, please. Keep Sag out of it, please. Okay, Sag is just trying to focus on work. Okay, nothing came out of the connection. Nothing came out of some sort of friendship or some sort of um, something you thought that was going to be happiness. Maybe it was a group of friends, a group of family members. Maybe it could have been co-workers or people who you thought was, it's going to be some sort of big fight here. And everybody is going to be sad because they was fighting with Sad or Earth Angel. Someone who made these other people realize whoever the person that was actually starting the drama with see who they really are. I feel like it was one person or it could have been two people that turned a group of people against you. They left you. Okay, but now this person needs you. And you're being ordered to sit the fuck out of it. It could be a mother. It could be some mother figure, a grandmother here, a father figure. Okay, just take it how it fits. But if anything resonates, hit that like button. Comment, subscribe to the channel. Swat Rose is needed. Also says, don't forget to check out Rose Forever for your beautiful rose bouquet. I have my beautiful rose or my beautiful orange rose bouquet here okay my roses are said to last up to a year also they have such a wonderful great smell to them um i do have the website link down in the description box below check out rose forever they have multiple bouquets multiple colors multiple sizes all right um also if you guys are interested in making a purchase don't forget mother's day is coming up you can get this gift for a daughter a mother a grandmother even if you don't want to get it like for a gift for someone it also makes a lovely this decor check out that website use that code 9025 take 25 dollars off of that purchase if you decide to make one don't let the offer pass you pass you by guys and until next time stash gang bye bye